Good five, you might say this letter from an AP history teacher has gone too viral. It asks teachers in her community to have students send letters to support the students at Stoneman Douglas. A teacher now worried about too much mail being sent their way. Our Julie O'Neill joins us now with how students at King's local schools are responding. An administrator with King's local schools shared that letter on Friday and has gotten more than a thousand shares just from her personal Facebook page. People here want to show their support, and that's what students here did today. There are simple messages from kids to kids, letting them know they're not alone. Kings Mills Elementary fourth graders' hearts are going out to students at the Florida High School attacked and an elementary school a mile away, where teacher Lynn Weed's brother is an assistant principal. He had his students in lockdown, of course, when this was taking place. It was very, very, very frightening. They're still struggling. He did say that he really thinks this would help morale. It's helping our kids too. It makes me feel happy because when some people are sad, it makes me feel sad. And when my friends and other kids are happy, it makes me feel happy. King's High students also in the act. This is only the second meeting of the Kindness Club started by junior Sarah Drees. I started the club because you never really know what people are going through, so I just thought it would be a good way to like make people happy. Students across King's started writing cards when Dawn Gould saw that a teacher at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School was asking for them. Well, because when something like this happens, it doesn't just hurt that school, it hurts everybody because it can happen to any of us. King's, one of many tri-state school districts sharing it, the response so overwhelming, the Florida High School sent a follow-up message asking for banners instead of individual notes. These hearts will go on banners. The cards will go too. It's something young people can do. High school and middle school is a hard time for everyone, and I just think that maybe doing something to make kids feel better would make it easier on everyone. In Kings Mills, Julie O'Neill, nine on your side. What a kind gesture there. And from letters to crosses now, a Las Vegas teen with the help of her father is sending 17 crosses to Parkland, Florida for the 17 victims who died. She was inspired by another gentleman who placed 58 crosses at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign shortly after the mass shooting in Las Vegas last year.